Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Welcome back to your new tutorial. So we have designed our navigation drawer and now we want to design our set on click listener for our drawer navigation. However, I have been using this term navigation drawer and drawer navigation. Okay, so I'm sorry for that one. So you know, it, it's almost the same, okay, it, I mean, it doesn't make any difference for me. So it's fine as long as I'm using, you know, the navigation and draw together. So it's a drawer navigation or you can see the navigation drawer. Now, first of all that we need to implement here our navigation, we dot on navigation item selected listener. So the implement. navigation weave dot on navigation item selected listener now you can see here it is showing a red color then you need to press option and the enter then implement method and you need to implement the method on navigation item selected right so click on this one now it is implemented here on navigation item selected now for that what you need to do you need to first i mean it is almost same as uh, we did into our pop-up menu in options item selected menu so of course in id is equal to item dot get item id okay and then here we are again going to add our switch statement right so the first switch statement id and then the first case if first case is r dot id dot so the first one was the inbox id if inbox is clear then we can show a toast there and this toast search let's say the inbox right and then we can break it perfect so what we can do here we can copy it simply ah uh, yes i think we can copy it and we can paste it so now this one is for start id right and then we can say here start click and then this one is for sent sent id and then we can say here a sent clicked now the next one is for draft you can see here a draft and then draft the next one is all email IDs and then you can say here all email and the next one you can see here address and then you can you know so a toast named as address and then finally we have our spam and then you can see here you can show here as a spam clicked now after this we need to return a true now once I return the true but before that I have to implement here navigation weave item selected listener so for that what we can do here navigation weave dot set navigation item selected listener this right now let's run this application and see what will happen so let it first install And you will see here into the emulator 
it is being installed okay it's fine if I click on inbox inbox is being shown there if I start send email right but there is a difference however I am pressing but this navigation bar navigation drawer is not closing automatically right so we need to close it automatically and we can do that here by uh, you know by adding a line of code here so that's you you can say the, the code which we are going to add for automatic you know the close so that's the drawer layout dot the close drawer the gravity compact dot start right so it will close the drawer once you know the one any of these cases are executed right so if you see here into the our application if I press on inbox see it's automatically being closed send email I mean if you press on anything it will automatically close right but one more thing uh, it is notable to bring it here that if you press here the back button okay I mean before closing let me show you one more time if you see right let's open this navigation drawer and if I press this back button before closing this navigation drawer it is automatically closing the application but in principle it must first close this navigation drawer and then it close the application so see here again yeah so this is what is happening here so for that what we can do we can implement here another override method that is on back pressed right it's actually the very simple you need to write here on back pressed okay an override function uh, it's an override method and then if drawer is open then first close this okay so the drawer layout dot you can say oh sorry is drawer open okay so if it is open with uh, you know the gravity compact dot uh, start then what we are gonna do here we are gonna this close the drawer okay close the drawer for gravity compact dot start else I mean if it is already closed then just you need to copy and paste it here super dot on back pressed and now let's run this application and see what would happen there now see in this emulator right if I open this navigation drawer and click on back so it is first closing that navigation bar right navigation drawer and then it is closing the I mean it must not close that one I do not know why it has closed the application so on back pressed right so oh my god so I need to write here else otherwise that's why it is not working I mean yes so now okay that's why it first closed that one and then it executed this line that was the problem okay so you can press here command and the option and the L will automatically reformat all your code so let's see this into the emulator let it first install and now if you see here open your navigation drawer and then press the back button right 
open your navigation drawer, press the back button and then again if you press the back button then it will close. Now we need to solve another problem. See here, we need to make this status bar as a transparent. It's very simple so I'm not going to take more than 5 minutes to complete this module in which we have designed our navigation drawer and toolbar right so for that let me take you to the our string.xml file so string.xml we are going to create a new style that's okay so that's the style and I'm gonna put name as app theme you know dot no action bar close this and the first item which I'm gonna you know put here that's the window window action bar so the window action bar is gonna be a false here and the another item which I'm gonna put that's the window no title okay so the window no title of course that is gonna be a trio that's when there is no there would not be any title in this theme and then the background which I'm gonna set the background right so that's the new item okay so in the new item you can say the window draws system bar background so you can say window draws system bar background close this one and that's the true and into our final item which I'm gonna say I status bar color okay so the item and then status bar color that is gonna be a transparent okay so that you can find into the Android and then color transparent so we have created this new theme for no action bar for our status bar now let's okay fine so we have done almost everything here now let's make it uh, you know the final line of code in this module so here if you come inside the activity and main activity then we are going to add here a theme okay which will make our status bar as a transparent so type here a theme and the theme which we are going to add that is no action bar of course app theme of of course it would be first a style and then app theme with the no action bar now let's run this application great now let's see it into the emulator and if I open it now you can see it is working perfectly now the status bar is completely transparent and it is reflecting a fantastic you know the material design so we have a completed here our first design module uh, what I promised on uh, when we start this tutorial so I promised to make a uh, a material design theme like this one which we have almost the completed however there is only the color difference and the other thing is almost the same and into the next tutorial I mean into the next module I'll be covering you know uh, in detail about the text field so in the text fields there are um, uh, um, the text input layouts op compact uh, app compact uh, edit text and uh, then you know sometimes text counts total number of characters and it shows the error etc I mean uh, in this tutorial series I'm gonna cover each and everything in module wise module so in the first module I have covered about the toolbar and the navigation drawer and the ne in next module 
I'm going to cover about the text field and then another module would be based on button and then selection control, progress bar, dialog, snack bar and the so on. So it has been a great guys to teaching you. Thank you so much and stay tuned for the next video tutorials and please subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox whenever I make new videos. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. Have a nice day.